today's Madden 16 Ultimate Team tip is going to talk about the top five budget kick returners in Madden NFL 16. Uh, for those of you guys who do not know and this is your first video, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to our YouTube community here. And our community seeks to make uh, each other better at Madden NFL 16. And we do this through a variety of different types of content. But today we are in our Madden Ultimate Team budget series in which we seek to give you uh, budget style players in hopes that they're going to be about under 5,000 coins, but they're going to perform really well for you and do uh, what you're going to ask them to do. So this is the whole idea that we're trying to basically uh, keep the cost on certain positions lower so that we can maybe spend more coins in areas that matter like quarterback or cornerbacks or linebackers or whatever you know that means for your team. Alright guys so last video we talked about the top budget kicker and budget punter and uh, you could find all of the videos for this series by checking out the playlist link in the description below uh, but today we're taking a look at kick returners so the key stats uh, when you look at kick returners in my opinion are speed, acceleration, and the juke move. Uh, those are my uh, kind of top and top most important stats. Um, they actually have a kick return rating in the game, and I don't really value that, to be quite honest with you. I don't find it to be a big time importance, um, but I do find the juke move to be a very big importance because the double juke move uh, that a lot of people are utilizing this year is really key to when you're returning kicks because in my opinion it is the best uh, it is the best move so to find out how to do the double juke move I will leave a link into a video in our YouTube channel that you can access so you can find that uh, in the links below within the description alright guys so uh, the first guy on our list he comes to us he was actually my budget kick returner uh, for a long time and I really do like this guy a lot I think he is one of the top five uh, top five kick returners and uh, his name is Tavon Austin you knew he was gonna make an appearance on this list in any version of Madden this guy is always a good player to take a look at especially in ultimate team and uh, this edition we're actually gonna look at a very inexpensive edition it's actually the cheapest one that they offer it's the 75 overall Madden NFL six, Madden 16 base set edition card and this Tavon Austin card comes in with 95 speed and uh, what we want to do is come over here and look at his key attributes and you see that he has 95 speed 93 acceleration but the key stat here is he has 98 agility and if you come down here to his juke move rating he gives us a 97 juke move so you see this guy is really a great option uh, when returning those kicks because he has such a high uh, juke move he's going to be able to do a lot of good things for you in my opinion and uh, and definitely want to look into this guy because of he's because of his ability to not only return kicks uh, in terms of speed but is also able to uh, give you that juking ability all right guys so coming up next uh, on our list here he comes to us from the Cincinnati Bengals and uh, most of you may know about this card but uh, he is the actually the fastest card, uh, fastest player we're going to talk about today. And that is Mario Alford. And he comes to us from the Cincinnati Bengals. And uh, he's a 61 overall, so he's not really a high overall, as you can see. He's very inexpensive, most of the time going around 2,000 coins. But uh, his key stat is he has 97 speed. Now, you know, he doesn't have that agility, unfortunately. He does have agility, 95. But his juke move rating isn't quite that good. Uh, we'll take a look at it here. It's only 79. So what you want to do when you're utilizing Mario Alford is you want to just kind of run him straight. You don't want to use the juke move uh, when returning with this guy. He's just a pure burner, but he is the fastest guy. So I wanted to at least show you uh, he's one of the fastest players uh, in the game in terms of pure speed. So you definitely want to, uh, you definitely want to check him out. All right, guys, number three on our list and probably one of the most balanced uh, kick returners we're going to be showing you today. Uh, he comes to us from the Oakland Raiders. Uh, he's a very popular kick returner uh, over the course of the last couple seasons of Madden. 
but uh, his name is Trendon Holiday. You may remember him from his days uh, with the Denver Broncos, in which he was a very effective returnman. If you take a look at his uh, Madden 16 base set edition card, you're going to see that he uh, comes in at about 2,500 coins. Uh, he actually is relatively expensive right now in the marketplace. But what you're going to find with this guy is he has a lot of key stats that are really good for kick returning. The first is that he has 95 speed. Uh, the second is that he has 95 agility. He has 91 acceleration, so I would like to see that to be a little bit higher. And then when you come down here to his juke move rating, though, he actually has 95 elusiveness and 95 juke move rating. This guy is one of the most balanced kick returners across the board. Uh, he does pretty much everything you want from a kick returner. He does fairly well, and uh, so I definitely, definitely recommend, uh, definitely, definitely recommend this guy as uh, a potential option when you're looking to get uh, some good kick returners. All right, guys, uh, number two on our list, and this was kind of up for debate. I kind of really questioned it, and I didn't really know for sure what to go with here, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, go with this direction. So, uh, you know, number five on our list, he's going to come to us from, let me see if I make sure this is right. Let me check this one other stat, and then we'll, I'll let you guys know. I'm on mutthead.com right now. If you guys don't know about mutthead.com, it's a really uh, nice way to take a look at all of the ratings and uh, take a look at all of the mutt players. It gives a nice player database in which you can decipher uh, what type of player would be best for your scheme. Uh, and so uh, what I wanted to do uh, with this player, yep, so this is what I wanted to talk about. So this is a guy that I've actually not even used, but just looking at his ratings, I really think he's going to be uh, very good. He's similar to the Tavon Austin card. And he comes in um, on our list here at number two. And he actually may be a little bit uh, high, but it's the Team of the Week edition of Taiwan Jones. So here he's coming in about 5,000 coins right at the threshold. But the reason that I really like this guy is uh, obviously he has that 95 speed, which is a really good stat. Um, but the key stat here is that he has 93 agility, 90 acceleration. But when you come down uh, into his running statistics, he actually has really good elusiveness, but he's got that 96 uh, juke move, right? So that juke move is really important, and uh, and we see that we that we get it with this Taiwan Jones card. Uh, another guy that I want to recommend to you, if you don't want to get that Taiwan Jones card, and you're looking for someone that has a nice balance of speed uh, and acceleration, it's Dre Archer. Uh, Dre Archer. A lot of guys really think this guy's a really special player. Uh, and I don't want to disagree. If you look at, look at his Madden 16 Ultimate Team base set, um, you're going to see that he's got 96 speed and 95 acceleration. That's a really, really good combination. And then when you take a look at his juke move rating, it's actually 92. Or, I'm sorry, it's 94. And, uh, and then he's, you know, he's going to do everything we really need. Uh, he's got a, a pretty good speed. Um, he, he's probably the quickest and the fastest player on our list because he's got that acceleration and speed. Uh, so I would recommend that Dre Archer to you guys as well. All right, guys, so the final uh, player that I really want to talk about today uh, was actually didn't, you know, I didn't really think he was going to make the list. I originally really wanted to say Tavon Austin uh, for the number one because they're all very comparable. Uh, and, that, and, and as I looked at it a little bit more in detail, and, uh, and really kind of dove into the importance of the juke move rating, uh, I wanted to talk about uh, a couple of things with kick return game. The, the biggest one is that juke move, um, but the second one actually that I really value, um, I, I obviously value your speed and all, and all of that, but um, there's one more thing uh, that I do value, and that's the ability to just break tackles. Like, you know, you're going to have to bounce off. And I, I find agility, elusiveness, all of those things to be uh, important. And so I really wanted a running back to come in at number one uh, as opposed to a receiver. So this guy I'm going to recommend to you. Now, he's a little bit close to that threshold sometime, depending on the way the market works. But it is the Team of the Week edition of Chris Thompson. Right now, he's actually going for a little high price. He's going for about 7,500 coins. But... Uh, what I want you to look at with this item is he's got 93 speed, he's got 94 acceleration, and he's got 98 juke move, right? He's got the highest juke move rating out of anyone we talked about today. 
And I just, the other thing that he has is he's got enough strength, right, to withstand tackles. Uh, this guy's just a really, really good card, and I highly, highly recommend this card to you guys. Uh, it's got just a really, really good elusive rating. Uh, I'm just telling you guys from experience, guys, this card uh, is really, really solid. Uh, probably a lot more videos on my channel are going to be coming, and, and you'll be seeing this Christian Thompson uh, card in action. Uh, Alright guys, so I wanted to go ahead and give you one more item that you can utilize. And he's going to be very comparable to this Christian Thompson. He's not going to be quite as good, but he is going to be comparable. I use this guy for a really a, a fairly significant portion uh, of the game this season. And uh, let me see here if I got him up here. I want to make sure he's in the... really want to make sure he's in the... Um, whatever it's called, the threshold. Yeah, okay. So, uh, this guy, and honestly, I would probably, I feel like a lot of these players could be interchanged within where their ratings are. Um, and the main reason I put Taven Austin at number five was because he fumbles a little bit too much for me. I really do, uh, you know, I kind of value carry rating as well uh, when, we're taking a, when we're taking a look at just you know, your ability to kick return, I, I do value carrying a little bit. And if you look at that Taven Austin card, you're going to see he does fumble a little bit. And that's really why he came in probably at number five. They were all really close, you know. But I, I think in retrospect, yeah, if you go back and look at the Tavon Austin card, you're going to find that his uh, carry rating is actually rather low. Uh, he does have a good, uh, you know, a lot of good stats in terms of elusiveness, in terms of the juke move, but his carry rating does kind of, does kind of dwindle a little bit from from some of the other players uh, that I've kind of had experience with. And honestly, it's personal experience. I used him for a long time, and I just fumble, like I fumble constantly with the table in Austin. But okay, so I wanted to give you uh, another option because Christian Thompson is going for a little bit. A little bit above what I would want to pay for a kick returner. And uh, that player comes from the Minnesota Vikings. I actually thought about starting with him, uh, but he was a little expensive. Let's see if his uh, price is still about the same. But that's Stefan Diggs from the Minnesota Vikings. It's the Team of the Week edition, right? Um, and if you take a look at this Stefan Diggs, you're going to see that he's got 93 speed. He's got 91 elusiveness, uh, but the key stat to this to Stephon Diggs is he's got 94 agility, 94 acceleration, so he's fairly fast. But the key stat, if you come down here and look at that juke move rating, uh, it's like right at 97, and that's what we like to look for. About 95 to 98 is really uh, kind of the threshold for me when I'm looking at uh, getting a good juke move uh, going. So I really like this Stephon Diggs card uh, for this. All right, guys, uh, and I wanted to close. We always give you a little bit more of a kind of a little bit more of an expensive item that's a little bit above the threshold, and that's actually why I started with Tavon Austin at number five on the list. Uh, is because this guy, I think this guy may be the best uh, guy in terms of looking at kick returners uh, in the entire game, right? I, I really do. I really think he's one of the top, and it's the Tavon Austin card, uh, and we're going to be looking today at the out of position. Uh, Tavon Austin card. So this is the Tavon Austin card that was with the out of position program. Uh, and I actually thought about Joshua Cribb, Seasons Veterans, but his 91 speed isn't right there. The team MVP Tavon Austin honestly would probably be best. Uh, let me show you that. So that is the this card right here, but he's way too expensive for me right now uh, with my uh, price. But if you take a look at this uh, team MVP, 97 speed, 96 elusiveness, but when you come down, look at this acceleration, 96. But if you come all the way down and you look at this juke move, man, he's got 99 juke moves. So this guy's a phenomenal one. But this out of the position one is actually, he's going, he's really not too expensive. He's about 17K. He's a halfback, right? And uh, But the thing is, this guy has 97 speed, 97 agility. 94 acceleration and 97 juke move and uh, this is the guy that's going to come in number one on our list uh, because he's got the most speed he's got really good agility and he's got the second highest juke move out of all of our guys so uh, that, those are some guys that i would recommend for the uh, kick return game in madden nfl 16 uh, let me know if you guys have any questions or anything that you'd like to talk about further 
Uh, but anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, be sure to check out some of the other videos if you haven't seen it. And if you like this series and you like what we showed you today, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button below. That way you can get access to the future videos. And lastly, if you have any questions for me re related to Madden 16, uh, be sure to leave those in the comments below. And uh